Julie Bonovich joins us live. And Julie, what happened out there? Well, Dave and Glenda, they just finished boarding up the window pane and part of the wall here. This is a very busy Arby's. It sits right here in Woodward in Royal Oak near 13 Mile Road. So as you can imagine, there are quite a few people inside at the time. A big window went pop and it was just glass everywhere. That was the loudest bang I had ever heard. It sounded like an explosion. Ladies and gentlemen, a car has smashed into Arby's. You're driving, you're sitting there, you're eating your, your, your roast beef and cheddar, you're dipping your curly fries in some Arby sauce, smack dab, an old lady drives right through the building. And so, of course, the local news shows up, okay? We've got this guy, he's there, local news shows up, and then we have this man. I thought perhaps the end of days was upon us, but it turned out it was just a disoriented old lady in a champagne-colored Toyota Avalon crashing into my world like DMB circa 1996. Who's got their claws in He's you? He's the young sung hero of the interview. Hold on. There's more. There's more. We, we're not, we haven't heard the last of him. This man, we're going to get to him in just a second. This man is a legend. Here we go. Ready? Drake the Giant. I don't know. They appeared to be weightless, hitting zero G like the fearless crew of a forgotten Apollo mission, whose only objective was to obtain a beef and cheddar classic and return home to Kathleen Quinlan safe before sundown. I don't know. Part of me wishes I'd been hit by that car instead, so I could have gotten out of work early and gone far, far away from shift manager Masha's judging emerald eyes. No, I didn't wash my shirt in between shifts, Masha. So what if I smell like roast beef? This whole place smells like roast beef. Awesome. Go. Go. Oh, we still go. The fire go. department transported all three to the hospital and tell us that the man and two women who are in their 30s and 40s appear to have not Yeah, <laughs> dude, I mean, can you believe it, okay? Hey, who's this guy and how did I become his friend, okay? This guy gets it. He's awake. He understands. He knows exactly what his job at Arby's entails and he's being interviewed by the news, okay? And this Masha lady, okay, the manager, get that bitch out, okay? Worries about the clean and fresh melon shirt. The whole fucking building smells like roast beef, Masha, okay? The whole building smells like roast beef. Get over it. The kid's a legend. And you know what his name is? Paul J. Brown. Google the name Paul J. Brown. After this video went viral in 2013, Paul Brown decided he wanted to be uh, and was going to be the CEO of Arby's. Okay. This man is responsible, uh, for things like we have the meats and is also now the CEO of inspire brands. Not only did he invent, we have the beef slogan. He's responsible for the acquisition of Sonic for $2.3 billion. Or as we say on the podcast, 0.2 Twitter offers. Do the math. And Jimmy John's, okay? And Buffalo Wild Wings for 2.9 billion, aka 0.3 Twitter offers. Paul Brown. Now, 